basically I just couldn't resist this. Um, this pallet had been actually rebuilt and if you look at the, uh, the screws here they had supplemented the uh, probably the 16D or 16 penny nails so that's what I was able to get out of the uh, the uh, the pallet itself and these are definitely reusable and not cheap either by the way so this is good definitely makes worth uh, um, trying to reclaim this good and as you can see it's very very thick 2x6 and 2x8 wood and it's like perfect I mean this is this is the kind of stuff I look for good 2x4s and good bigger material I could probably make a bench out of this so so uh, Okay, so I went ahead and, and uh, took my pallet ripper. And it's the same tool, unmodified so far. And of course, the first thing you should note with this particular wood, I already worked this one out, is that there's no reason to really get in a hurry. This is big wood. And so what I've done is I've just eased it up a little bit by little bit because after all, this isn't hard to pull. Look at that pretty wood right there. That's something that's just laying around out there for the taking for free all right so now this is I'm gonna let you actually see it as far as that goes the key to this tool in this configuration is try to get an even pull and just work it up slowly I mean to me this makes the tool in its second prototype configuration to be very valuable because when I started playing uh, with this skid with my first prototype I mean it immediately was stressing it out so let's just see what I can do here now keep in mind this bolt right here is hitting the wood on the, the next one so that's the cracking that you hear okay but I'm going to ease it on up the key is to stand on the skid Okay. Now this one has three nails. The last one uh, I think only had two. Hence the reason I'm having more problems. But I'm really not working hard. And look, that sucker's coming right up. This sure as heck beats a couple of wrecking bars. And trying to get this thing here. And with, with bigger tongues, when I finally do prototype three, this sucker's going to be great. I mean, look at that. Pretty. Look at that grain. That's good stuff right there. Alright, now let's let's look at the next one. I'm going to see what I can do on the end board here in a minute. Now this has two screws and it's coming up much easier. So, a few definite improvements that I want to make on this. The base right here is taking a beating right now. So I might put a metal plate on that. But I'd say, depending on the skid, I've actually got a winner right now. And let's see how much time i got left on here. Okay, I've only gone four minutes, so I gotta hurry. Now, let's see how this does with the big kahuna. Keep in mind, I'm not, I'm not impacting more than this much because of this bracket. So, if I do add addition length to the tongs, then if it's gonna contact here, I need to at least double this. We'll make it another third size larger. So, anyway. Okay, now, I don't think that split this 2x10. I don't think we got to worry about that. All right. Now, look at that. I don't think it split my tool. No, it didn't split my tool. All right. Now, I can get that off with a regular tool. 
And let's see. Now, if I want to get a little more forceful with it, I can work it out like that. Okay. All right, I got it. Okay. Now, I actually split the edge of that because I got too aggressive. But let's see. That's the key. You can't get too aggressive because the tongue just can't get it. So. Okay. All in all said, I'd say that's a win. Ta-da! Let's see what we got here. Try it from a different angle. No. Okay. Well, I'd say that's a win-win. Yes, sir, everybody. That's what I'm talking about. Well, thanks for looking. Have a great, happy, creative day.